One of the things that I've done that uh, I don't know anybody else that's noticed this, but uh, I download the financial statement of the United States every single year and I keep it on my desk and I highlight certain areas and go through it. And one of the things I noticed was um, there's a section uh, for gold where they account for the gold and they, they list so many ounces and uh, the U.S. government keeps those ounces on the book, <laughs> on the books at $44.22.22. That's the official price of gold, $44.22. Uh, it's ridiculous, but that's the price. And then, um, later on in a footnote, it'll say that um, the, uh, that $11 billion worth of the gold has been pledged for gold notes uh, held by the Federal Reserve. And then later on it says that the Treasury can redeem those gold notes at any time. Well, if the notes are held by the, treasure, the Federal Reserve, how can the Treasury redeem them for gold? If the Treasury has them, it means that the Federal Reserve has the gold and the Treasury has the notes. Now, when you take $11 billion divided by $44.22.22, uh, $44 it turns out that uh, the U.S. only had $11,500,000,000 worth of gold at that price, and $11 billion of it was, has already been given to the Federal Reserve, a private agency with no uh, oversight, uh, and they don't have to account for anything. And the Treasury, who does have to account for something, keeps that on their books with an IOU. You know, basically, they've got these gold notes, these IOUs, gold, back someday. Um, then uh, you look at um, about it was somebody can't remember the guy's name, but James Turk uh, uh, is a gold analyst that uh, one of the people that um, writes to him uh, showed that the U.S. Treasury in June of 2007, or maybe it was May of 2007 they changed the way they uh, hold gold on the books. Um, it used to say gold in storage, and that was changed to gold and gold receivables, including loans and swaps where applicable. And it's all accounted for as one line item. It's a single number. So they're keeping track of accounts receivable and inventory as a single number. This is illegal accounting. Any, com any public company that does something like this would end up, people would end up in jail. Uh, this is the type of accounting that caused Enron to crash. And the U.S. government appears to be doing the same thing. So the gold from the U.S. Treasury has been given to the Federal Reserve. Uh, we know that we, we see these lease rates. If you look at the supply-demand fundamentals um, and, and you look at price action, uh, the way things add up, uh, there's more gold sold into the market every year then comes from mine supply by a significant amount. That excess gold has to come from somewhere. Um, and this group of attorneys and, and commodities analysts at GATA have done a spectacular job, and I believe everything they have to say about the gold manipulation. And this is what uh, gold leasing is a large part of the manipulation. The other half of this manipulation, I believe, is the exchange-traded funds. If you're going to invest in gold and silver, please uh, investigate these things totally for yourself before...